If you've gotten enough out of your Nextdoor app, in this video I'm going to show you how to actually delete your account and all the data associated with it. So the first thing is to open a web browser, not the app, and go to the Nextdoor web page and go all the way to the bottom. In the bottom in the gray area on the left there's a bunch of links. There's going to be one called Help. Click the Help button. Clicking the Help link will take you right to all the resources where they try to answer your questions for you with like frequently asked questions. In a search box at the top, type in delete account. You'll see multiple options appear. Rather than select one of them, just hit the enter key after the words delete account. That'll give you all the results. Now in the results for delete account, the top two look identical. The only real difference is one is for your next door account as a neighbor and it has the tag neighbors on the right and the second one is for your business account and that has the tag businesses. Click the top one that says deactivate or delete your next door account. Once you click that link, a new page will appear. It'll tell you how to deactivate or delete your next door account. Now there's an important distinction between the two. Deactivating your account is like putting your account on pause. It's like if you lived half the year in Florida and you were leaving to go to Florida, you would lock up your apartment or your house and put everything on hold there and then when you come back you just reactivate everything so nothing is gone everything is where you left it that's the beauty of deactivating your account I don't really see a huge value in that if you know you're gonna leave the service if you're gonna leave the service then I suggest you delete your account deleting your account removes your profile and all the posts comments likes everything you've put into the next door app so that your privacy is more protected. And to do that you gotta click this link contact next door through our contact form. We're gonna go ahead and click that. So now you have the contact us form and the first two rows are filled out for you. I have a question about my neighbor account relating to deleting my account. This quick answer which is about how to do it is exactly where we just came from. I click this a few times, it just takes you in a loop. So don't click that. Instead, at the bottom of the page, click the button in green that says, I still need help. And when you do that, you'll see more fields appear. Next, you're gonna enter in your next door email address. So this is the email address you registered for the service with, and it's whatever's in your profile. So go ahead and type that in. Below that is your name. So here, just put in your, your name as it appears in your profile. Same for the field below that, which is address. Now the field under address is subject. Even though you've already selected that you have a question about deleting your account, you want to be explicit here and say, please delete my next door account. Because you don't want any kind of confusion about what you're asking for here. And then another box appears below that message, and I think it's just worth doing I just restated what I wanted to happen please delete the next door neighborhood account associated with this email so now you scroll down some more and you'll see again for the second time they have another quick answer below that that is basically going to take you backwards to the help document we just came from the one that had the one and the two on it I think their thinking is that if they keep sending you in circles you'll never get to actually submit the form and have your account removed because it doesn't look obvious where the submit button is here so scroll down some more to the bottom don't click that or any of the other recommended articles if you need to attach a photo or a screenshot you can do that here I'm not gonna bother because I've already have my account and they know who I am and then you have to do this checkbox for the recapture form that says I'm not a robot and basically you've seen these before you have to click all the boxes that match what they're asking for yours is going to look different than mine they're usually pretty random in my case I had motorcycles and fire hydrant woohoo so when that's all done and it verifies you're not a robot the button for submit is green go ahead and click it and that's it your door is now closed your next door account will be deleted and in doing so, all your data and your privacy will be a little more protected. Now, if you did want to do the deactivate your account, which I showed you earlier, which won't delete all your data, you can do that in four steps. You can log into your Nextdoor account, 
and click the profile picture in the upper right and under that click settings and scroll down to the bottom of that and choose deactivate account and that's a pretty instantaneous change once you do that it the account will be deactivated but all you got to do is go in with your email and reactivate it you can do this on the web as I just described and there's also instructions for this on how to do it on the iPhone and how to do it on any Android phone. If you have any questions please leave a comment below. If you like this video please consider leaving a like. It helps out with the algorithm tremendously and thank you again for watching and feel free to share this and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.